I'm Dallas Marie Hill, Lake County Square Reach Extension Agent, and today I'm going to talk about some creative crafts that you can do with some junk you find in your house. First, uh, we're going to do the little caterpillar, and you're just going to need some egg cartons, which I'm sure you can find laying around at, at home. Um, you're going to need some paint, and we have used, uh, this is tempera paint, but acrylic works just as good. You'll need your Sharpie, some googly eyes, and of course if you don't have googly eyes you can use other uh, things such as buttons, some paint brushes, and pipe cleaners, and something to poke a hole to put the legs in. So you're going to take your egg carton and cut it up into, th into three of these little parts. And it's going to look like this, and all you need to do is get some paint, and I'm going to be painting my caterpillar green, um, just because I like Eric Carlisle's uh, The Hungry Caterpillar, or whatever that book's called. And this would be a fun, uh, to add just a little bit of education to it, have your kids read The Very Hungry Caterpillar. because. I always like adding books to whenever we're doing crafts. It just adds a little bit of flavor. So you're going to paint your caterpillar green like so. So uh, now that we have our painted product, we're going to um, glue on the eyeballs to the front part. And this craft is not one size, uh, like you have to do it our way. It's not our way or the highway. Uh, what I recommend, go out in your backyard, find some cool things, and try to make it the best you can. And don't forget to share if you do make these. Please share it to our Facebook page under the video. We'd love to see what you guys have come up with. And I always like to be happy. Don't worry. Be happy. So um, put a little smiley face on it. It adds just a little bit of uh, sunshine to your, your caterpillar. So then what you have to do, um, I've already poked holes in most of them, but you're going to poke one hole on each side on the front and the back, but in the middle you're going to poke two holes on each side. And you can do that with a paper clip. Um, if you have a, just anything you can to poke holes go through. Then you're going to take your little pipe cleaners and push it through. So here is the start. And I forgot to have a proper caterpillar. We have to add, oops, I moved its eyeball too. Googly moogly. Um, you gotta add antennas. So we will work on adding the antennas in just a second. And we're going to take his little antenna like this. I don't wanna, I'm going to make his a little, a little curly. And glue it to the top. So this is the start and I'm going to go ahead and continue putting on its legs. Now that I have put all of the pipe cleaners in the holes for its legs, this is the finished product for our egg carton caterpillar. Like I said, have some fun with it. Uh, one, it's not just you have to do what we are doing. You could also create a cute little bumblebee, a ladybug, um, Kind of like a bug's life, a beautiful butterfly, and one of my favorites, a spider. Some other things that you could do, we saw a really cute craft. Make your own little, uh, I don't know what, they, what it is, um, but make them. You could make something to do a masquerade party. I know uh, dance parties at my house are always a lot of fun, and my kids like whatever music they're doing, doing kind of a theme dance, or you could just have a masquerade ball with your egg carton mask. Our next craft 
is going to be a pine cone bird feeder. So uh, the first thing that you're going to do is get a, a string tied around the top because um, you're just going to go ahead and leave it hanging on a tree. Now, today I will be using peanut butter. Obviously, there's a disclaimer if you have peanut allergies, don't do this. Uh, the reason I'm using peanut butter today is because I'm all out of shortening and cornmeal. So if you do a shortening cornmeal mixture, you can use that um, as a substitute. So, uh, first you gotta do is get a stick. So if you have the shortening, if you have a bigger pan, it works a little bit better and you can just roll the pine cone in there. I don't have that either, but I do have some popsicle sticks handy. And I'm just gonna take my peanut butter and kind of put it over each one. This is the final product of said pine cone. So first you're going to go ahead and paint it with the peanut butter or cornmeal mixture. Once you have your pine cone covered with the peanut butter or shortening cornmeal mix, uh, what I did is I just went ahead and started rolling the pine cone through it. And once I was done rolling it, as you can see, it's not all surfaces are covered. I just went ahead and started sprinkling some seeds all over just so it sticks. Uh, we got a wild bird feed mix. So that's, that's the one that I would recommend using. Just look for at any store. And as you can see, this is our bird feeder pine cone.